Hello, welcome to this week's PPC Hero <clears throat> video blog. We're going to talk about um, automated bidding, um, all the different ways that you can do it and the problems with them and how you can set it up and when it is a good time to actually use them. So I know that at PPC Hero we talk a lot about manual bidding and doing CPC bidding because we are kind of control freaks and like to have control over everything. But there's a, a lot of um, ways out there for us to automize some of this to free up some more time and make sure that we're really uh, capturing all the conversions that we could possibly be uh, capturing. And I apologize for this picture. Um, this presentation was repurposed from our monthly research and development day. And for this presentation, I googled the word bid. And this is one of the first pictures that showed up. So you're very welcome for that image. I hope it stayed with you all day. So yep, we're just going to talk about options for bid automation. So uh, one of the options is CPA bidding. So it's basically just when you tell AdWords you want to pay for a conversion, and then it tries to set your bids automatically in an effort to gain those conversions. So you can either set up um, a target CPA bid, which is just saying, like, I want my average to be this um, CPA, and then it'll you'll pay more sometimes, you'll pay less sometimes, but it should average out to your target CPA bid. And then a maximum CPA bid, so if you know that you lose money after a certain CPA, then you would want to just set your maximum CPA bid and be like, don't you ever, ever pay more than this for a CPA. Um, I think it probably does still do that sometimes, but um, it tries really hard not to, I'm sure. Um, there's automated bidding and rules. So you can do automated bidding through third parties like Aquizio or Marion or anything like that. And then there's also Google AdWords um, automated rules. Uh, and we'll get more into how those work and how to set them up later. But there are some just like super automated ways to set the rules up to run and just change your bids for you. And there's also eCPC. So um, eCPC is a, is a bidding feature that just raises your bid for clicks um, that seem more likely to lead to a conversion. So you just set your max CPC and then AdWords will increase or decrease that bid based on the likelihood of a conversion. Um, so it's just kind of a back-end system there where they analyze how likely that click could be to get a conversion for you. And then there's this new thing called flexible um, bid strategies. And it's just automated rules based on selected bid strategies, but the really cool thing is that you could do it at the, key at the keyword level. So it's really awesome. Um, and there's different ways, uh, different rules you can use for flexible bid strategies, but you do still need conversion tracking and uh, all that fun stuff. So here are some details about these individual uh, automated bidding strategy options. And uh, anytime somebody says the word deets, it just makes me think about that stupid Adam Sandler movie. And so here is a really lovely shot from that, which was, of course, a super hilarious scene where the butler beats his frozen foot because that's completely hilarious. You're welcome for that picture also. Um, so CPA bidding. The problems is um, problems are that at the ad group level um, is where the bid changes are made. So the keywords can be limited if it's grouped with other crappy keywords. So here is an example of that. I took a screenshot from one of our client accounts and it, this is a CPA bid um, ad group. So these keywords are in the same ad group. And you can see that for this date range, one had a conversion for $203, one had a conversion for $116, and one had a conversion for $58. And you can see the average positions over there. So the one that has a um, really cheap conversion is being limited, uh, it has a 2.4 average position. So it probably is having its bid limited because it's grouped with these other two crappy keywords. You can see one's been paused now because it's pretty expensive, but at the time it was running. And uh, so that's a problem that you run into. You have to have like super um, tightly themed small ad groups with CPA bidding. That's the only way that it's going to work. Um, your keywords really have to perform the same. And also, you can't really see it because I blocked it out so you couldn't see what keywords that this account was bidding on. But these weren't all the same match types. So make sure that you do have the same match types and your ad group is super organized and clean if you're going to use CPA bidding. Um, so, and there's another problem with CPA bidding if you're using e-commerce because not all products sold in ad group 
are going to have the same value. So it's really hard to set a CPA bid on an ad group when um, the products being sold could have different values. Not only just like each individual product could have a different value. So let's say like you have an ad group for hats and you have like you sell like 20 different hats and they all have different values and bring in different revenues. Um, but even if that wasn't the case, let's say you have an ad group for one specific product at a time, people are still going to spend like different amounts. So each conversion will be worth different amounts of money to you. So it's really hard to think of what an appropriate CPA for that would be. So that's just another problem that you could encounter with CPA bidding. Um, performance when conversions are valued the same. So let's say you have like a lead generation um, campaign and the ad groups are all valued completely the same. Like you just want to have drive as many leads as possible and you know that each lead is probably worth about this much money. Or, and so that's a really easy CPA goal. Um, so here's two clients where that's the case. Um, and I pointed out on this little map where CPA bidding was turned on and what happened afterwards. And then the blue line is conversions and the orange line is cost. And you can see that both of them um, right afterwards seem to take a little bit of a dip in conversion and cost actually, but then a little bit later really took off. Um, and then client two kind of tapered down again. So I'm sure there was some probably back end stuff going on there. Obviously this isn't um, cut and dry related to CPA bidding, but I think it was interesting that they had the same sort of um, issue there where it went down at first and then got pretty crazy with the conversions and cost a little down the line. So it seems, and this I would say that this has been my experience using CPA bidding as well, that um, the longer you give it, the better it will start to run. Um, it really does take a while for it to get in sync with your account and start driving volume for you. Um, so then there's automated bidding. So automated bidding um, will make, you can do this based on um, ad position, if you're trying to target certain ad positions or if there's certain bid adjustments you want to make based on CPA. Um, you can pause low performing ads or keywords and you can send uh, automated emails. So it's all stuff that you can do with AdWords automated bidding. And then um, th the man drinking is indicating that if you use automated bidding, you might have more time to drink. But let's just say that hopefully that's not an issue for you. So eCPC, they're um, are positive, so you can consider, it considers location, it considers language settings, browser and operating system, so all that's really awesome. It's uh, usable with locations and audiences, all great stuff. Um, but some caveats is that it doesn't include CPA in the algorithm, um, so that's a real problem if you have strict CPA goals, and it really runs a pretty high risk of increasing CPC. It really needs a lot of history, so if you don't have a lot of history in your account, that's going to be a problem and um, you need to know an effective CPC, so you have to really analyze your account to find that uh, for your campaign, your ad group, and your keyword. So you just want to run um, something that looks like this business over here of, for an analysis to find that kind of information. So here's when you would apply these different um, bidding types and when they would be a good choice. And again, I just Googled the word application, and this was the first picture I saw, and I thought it was really funny and goofy, and these people are ridiculous. So there you go. So when should you use CPA bidding? So basically, I think we've already touched on this, but whenever your conversions in an ad group are valued the same or bring in the same return. So I mean, I, I'm sure there are e-commerce situations out there where this could be the case, but I would say mostly this is going to be a lead generation um, situation so and then also if performance is steady and your ad groups are tightly themed you have to have a lot of conversions for them to be able to be really good at bringing driving your conversion volume so if you have a decent conversion volume I think that the minimum is 15 a month but I'd really recommend as many as you can, as much as you can get um, and then your ad, group, ad groups are tightly themed so you want to avoid that situation of the screen capture that we looked at where uh, it was a hot mess of an ad group to use for CPA bidding and then um, if the account is large or you have a lot of clients so you don't really have time for um, super detailed CBC bidding and you think you could be missing out on conversions with your lack of attention to the CBC bidding then I would definitely give CPA bidding a try. So here's just like a quick little thing about how to set up CPA bidding you just have to go into the um, settings and 
focus on conversions, and you can either choose between target and max CPA, like we talked about before. So here's um, how to set up automated AdWords rules. So you can just kind of go through the keyword level there and automate, create max CPC bids win, and then you can create all kinds of really cool things. So you could say like, all but delete keywords, raise my bid when the CTR is this, or raise my bid, and you can add, I, I can't remember how many rules you can add, maybe like five or six, I can't remember. But there's a lot of rules, so you could say like, you could think of the perfect click-through rate, and you want to make sure that you raise bids on perfect click-through rates, and you can raise bids if um, the click-through rate's good, and also that the CPA is good, and also that it hasn't spent over this much money in the past 30 days. So there's really only limited by like your imagination and your own analysis. So like whatever you find work well in your account and whatever you imagine would have good results for you. So it's really cool um, and it just does it for you automatically and you can get a little email every time that the rule runs with changes and then there's a little log in your shared library that you can go check out to look at all the different um, changes. So for ECPC setup, it's also really easy. So basically, you just need to have conversion tracking, go to campaign settings, go to bidding options, and then click on enhance CPC, and then go get a snack because you're done already, and that was super quick. For a flexible bid strategy setup, um, it's new, so I wanted to get some more screen captures in here. But basically, just go to the bid strategy button, and then you pick um, your flexible bid option and then you create a new bid strategy. So you can see here that um, you give it a name and then you click the bid strategy button on your campaigns, add groups or keyword tabs, and it'll apply that bid strategy to your selection. So here you can see that we like have kind of a um, example. So we say like first position, just location is top of the search results page. Bid automation, we want you to automatically raise and lower bids to match the estimated top of page bid. Um, and then you can go in and set up like adjust the estimated first page bid by percent, or you can put like a max CPC bid limit, it's like please don't spend more than a dollar a click or that kind of thing. Um, and then there's advanced options like raise my bids even if my campaign is limited by budget. So that really uh, allows you control for when you're trying to uh, meet a monthly budget, what you want to do with your bids. And then also um, if you are trying to not raise bids on low quality score keywords because you know that they need further optimization. You have an option um, there for how to treat low quality score keywords. And then this is then. This is where all the resources are. And surprise, surprise, they are all PPC Hero resources. So go check out those resources if you have more questions. The first one is about um, keyword level bidding strategies and then just bid management from basic to advanced, enhanced CPC, and AdWords conversion optimizer. Um, and then how to use Google Automated Rules for targeting optimal ad positions. So go check all of those out and then feel free to comment on this video blog if you have more questions and I hope you learned a little bit about automated bidding. Thanks!